to get accurate takeoff using mouse wheeler to zoom in closely to the area as possible. For rectangular area or room, use this draw rack tool to capture the area, left clicking on one corner of the room, press on the cursor, drag to the opposite corner, release the cursor, it creates the rectangular shape area. Continue on to next rectangular area. Or, to exit the mode, right click, or click on any other commands, under the takeoff ribbon. For any shaped area, use this free draw tool. Click on this draw icon to enter free draw mode. Under this mode, left product panel is now hidden to make more space for takeoff. There are two tabs of commands under this mode, mostly to facilitate the site measure drawing process. For commercial takeoff, these drawing setting option icons are worth noting. 90 and 45 degree angle lock is, by default, toggled down to lock drawing line by 90 or 45 angle, so it is easier to draw straight lines. Show crosshair is also, by default, toggled down to display cursor with crosshair lines, so it is easier to align and capture corner points. Auto scroll, when toggled on, will automatically scroll the plan image along the drawing line to expand to more area. It is useful when a takeoff area spans a bigger region. To do the takeoff an area, start from upper left corner point, left click, then move to next corner points clockwise, left click, and continue on tracking around the perimeter of the area. To close the loop, at the last corner point, click Close Shape icon, or hit Space key. The program automatically closes the shape to the starting point. With Close Shape command, it closes the shape with straight angle even when it is slightly off. If with Space key, it closes with the actual angle. By default, drawing lines are locked into 90 or 45 degree angles to facilitate drawing in major of cases. During the tracing, for walls that are not 90 or 45 degree angles, simply press and hold shift key and swing mouse cursor to match the angle. Release shift key to resume to default drawing mode. For curved walls, simply connect two endpoints of the curve with a straight line. After closing the shape, right click to exit free draw mode. Left click to select a room. Use our command on shape edit tab from the takeoff ribbon. Drag middle handle point of a wall and convert it into an arc. Optionally, to draw curve segment directly in free draw from starting point of the curve, move cursor and left click to capture a point on the curve, then holding down R key, R stands for radius, now the last drawing line turns into an arc, now move cursor to the other end of curve and left click to complete the curve, release R key or turn off arc icon, continue on with the drawing. For internal walls, one may trace around the corner points as if they are regular walls, or skip them and they can be added with internal wall tool at the next step. To undo any steps while drawing, Use Ctrl Z on the keyboard rad, or click on undo icon to back up one step or multiple steps. One may close the loop with right click as well, which also exits the free draw mode at the same time. Continue on with the takeoff on other areas with free draw mode on. To exit free draw mode, click on exit icon or right click 